Wales is about the size of New Jersey and lies just a couple of hundred miles west of here. The Welsh people cherish ancient traditions, not all of them wholesome. It's said there were once human sacrifices performed there by the Druids, sun-worshipping pagan priests of old. Well, these days, Wales has its own government, its own language, and its own prince. Charles, Prince of Wales, father of Prince William, who's back now as a search-and-rescue helicopter pilot in Wales after that much-publicised royal wedding. The intense international interest in William and Kate means there's going to be an army of press photographers on Welsh soil for the foreseeable future. Perhaps they should be scanning the skies instead. You see, Wales has now been revealed as the place in Britain where you are most likely to see an unidentified flying object. To the north of the country lies the town of Denby, complete with a fortified castle. In the 12th century, it was home to Welsh princes, and these days it seems to attract intergalactic attention. A couple of years ago, there were four unidentified flying objects, nothing to do with Prince William or his helicopters, spotted over the town on one single night. Similar sightings occurred in 2007 and 2005, and all were painstakingly recorded by the local police, who kept them secret till now. In fact, there have been 13 different reports of strange craft in the skies in this little area of North Wales since 2004. That is getting on for almost two a year. The total Welsh tally of UFO sightings is 33 since the police were obliged to start logging them back in 2002. And of these, only five have ever been explained as having human causes, like military manoeuvres. Wales, of course, has always had an appetite for the eerie. The damp, misty climate and the mountainous landscape contribute to the mood. There are continuous tales of hauntings, red dragons and the spectral hounds of hell. The police have also recorded sightings of huge feline monsters, giant cats, 35 in the last five years, plus 26 ghosts, 11 witches and a couple of vampires. For Wales, this is life, but not as we know it. This is Ed Boyle for CBS News in London.